Hello everyone and welcome back to days 9 and 10 of our 30 day AI journey where we use AI every day to day trade until either we run out of money or we make a decent amount of money. There's a lot to go over today so let's just go ahead and dive right into it. The first thing you'll notice is for my upload schedule you probably noticed that this upload days 9 and 10 are a lot later than the other uploads that's because I had a lot of work to do from my regular 9 to 5 job so I wasn't able to upload at all basically so I figured I'd just pick up where I left off and continue from there. Next is uh, ChatGPT as well as Claude and Gemini and I'm pretty sure now all other LLMs are no longer giving out financial advice legal advice or medical advice. It's no longer going to tell you it can do that. It'll just pretty much give you some basic understanding of the matter or try to just give you a basic definition and then tell you it can't really give you anything beyond that. So as we go throughout this series, I think we may need to pivot from using AI purely just for it to tell me what to invest in into a more of a research buddy where it kind of goes, hey, look, this is what I think is a good idea. I'll research it on my own as well. It gives me the information and then I have to ultimately make the final decision. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the meat of potatoes of today's videos. How much money am I working with now? All right, now for some numbers. Total overall, I am down about 4.15% for the day, which is day 10's numbers. I am down to 186.48 as of recording this video right now. Uh, my biggest loss right now is sitting with Delta. I did ask ChatGPT this morning if it could recommend me a stock to buy with the 193. I had leftovers from day nine and it told me Delta hoping it'd have a good earnings call and that the stock would go up. But the stock market today isn't doing anything but going up. It's actually kind of all in the red. Perfect day to buy if you have some money laying around. I, my thing is always buy on red days and sell on green days if I can. So on day nine, which was technically my biggest loss so far, was a negative $36 uh, for a Tillery call that didn't pan out as Gemini hoped it would. So basically it kind of just expired worthless. I didn't roll it over or anything. Ah, so to be honest with you, that's also kind of on me. I didn't have time to sit there and ask, hey, Gemini, should I roll this over? Or ChatGPT or Claude or any of the other LLMs. Um, I kind of just let it expire, especially just due to the amount of work that I've had to basically deal with during that time. Hopefully Delta will go up and hopefully we can turn this around. Um, if we can't, then it'll be what it'll be. But if, you know, we can, that'd be a nice little bonus. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for days 10 and 11. If anything interesting happens, I'll post about it. If not, I'll just kind of say, hey, there has been no movement. I've kind of just let it all sit there because Delta hasn't gone up high enough for me to do anything with the 100 and... $93 I invested into it. Yeah. So, uh, on the side,